Welcome back to Reading English Literature Series. Hello, my name is Nia Pramita Sari, a major English literature at Sultan Agung Islamic University. Today, I'll be reading Capture 4 from the novel Pollyanna by Eleanor Porter and Titor. First, I want to tell you little about Capture 3, The Coming of Pollyanna, then Capture 4, The Little Attic Room. Main story of Capture 3, Miss Polly told Nancy and Timothy to pick up Pollyanna from the station because on June 25, at 4, Pollyanna will come. Miss Polly tells Nancy Pollyanna's traits are the hair, wearing a red plaid dress and a straw hat. Main story of Capture 4 The next day, Miss Polly goes to the small attic explaining to Pollyanna that her suitcase is there and tells that Nancy will help unload the luggage and arrange the things that will be put in the attic. And also, Miss Polly tells Pollyanna that at 6 o'clock it is dinner time. Not long after that, Pollyanna saw the trees, the houses, the beautiful crunch towards and the river shining like silver. Then Pollyanna went to the tree to climb it and play. Then Pollyanna saw in a park there was a small path leading to an open field leading to a steep hill. Fifteen minutes later, the big clock in the hall of the Harrington house said six o'clock which was time for dinner. But Pollyanna didn't come game and Miss Polly was very annoyed by frowning and knocking on the floor. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great weekend. Hello. My name is Alina Puspita Firdaus. I major English literature at Sultan Agung Islamic University. Today, I'll be sharing some thoughts on Chapter 4 from the novel Pollyanna by Eleanor Porter. In Chapter 4, the part that I like is when Pollyanna accidentally makes Nancy cry because Miss Polly allows Pollyanna to occupy Nancy's room. This chapter surprised me with Miss Polly's character too. When Pollyanna arrived to meet her aunt, Miss Polly, I thought that Miss Polly to be a little gentle to Pollyanna as a form of sympathy. But unexpectedly, Miss Polly did not express her feelings to Pollyanna who had just lost her father. It was long when Pollyanna told her about her father. But Miss Polly always refused to listen to her. So that Pollyanna wanted to cry, but she thought that Miss Polly was doing her favor to not remember her father. In my opinion, the story written by Elena Porter is very good today. So I hope for interesting surprises in the next chapter. That's all for today. If you have some thoughts, please let me know on the comment section. Thank you for listening. Have a great weekend. Welcome back to Reading in this Literature Series. Hello, my name is Anissa Mohawana. I major English Literature at Sultan Agung Islamic University. Today, I'll be reading Chapter 5 from the novel Pollyanna by Eleanor Porter, entitled The Game. In the last chapter 4, since Pollyanna doesn't come down to dinner, she's only given milk and bread by Pauline's aunt. In Chapter 5, Nancy apologizes for only giving bread and milk because of unpolly orders. But Pollyanna looks happy, and Nancy asks why Pollyanna looks happy. Pollyanna replied, because it was her game. The game just became happy. The game just finds something about everything that's fun, no matter what. Pollyanna has played this game since childhood with several children. When Pollyanna wanted a doll, but all they got was crutches, so they started with crutches. Pollyanna finds it difficult at first, especially when Pollyanna feels lonely. But Pollyanna thinks, when hunting for fun things, she will forget what she wants. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Stay healthy and have a nice weekend. Hello, my name is Anisandra Traktavianti. I major in English literature at Sultan Agung Islamic University. Today, I'll be sharing some thoughts on chapter 5 from the novel Pollyanna by Eleanor Porter. In chapter 5, the game, the character that I found most interesting is Nancy. The reason is because we can see her character development even if it's just a bit. In the early chapter, we saw Nancy as a person who was not happy having a kid, but now in this chapter, she is willingly to play and accompany Pollyanna. Also, Pollyanna seems comfortable talking to Nancy more than her own Polly. I think in the next chapters, Nancy and Pollyanna will be good friends. Oh, I'd like to add one more. In this chapter, I really like how the author pictures Pollyanna's emotion. In the first and second chapter, we saw Pollyanna as a happy girl with a talkative personality. When well, in this chapter, she is sad and feels lonely. It's the opposite from the previous chapters. Well, 
wakes up in the morning and opens the window because she likes to see flies come into the room. She met Mr. Tom, the man who worked for her aunt in a garden. He said that she really looked like her mother. After that, they were about to eat breakfast, but there were so many flies interrupting them. Miss Polly doesn't like flies because it's dangerous for their health. The flies came from Pollyanna's room. After that, Miss Polly punished her by reading a fun fact about how dangerous flies are to your health. But Pollyanna thinks it's a reward since she gets to read something. Miss Polly planned to put her in school so she can get an education properly and also make a tight schedule for her. Because of that, Pollyanna thinks that she doesn't have time to live a real life which is for her it means that you can do anything that you want to do without any force. I think that's all for today. I hope you have a great time and thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my name is Adia Sulfana Fazi, a major English literature at Sultan Agung Islamic University. Today, I'll be sharing some thoughts on chapter 6 from the novel Pollyanna by Elena Porter in chapter Aggression of Duty. In this chapter, I really like how the author describes the character Miss Polly who educates Pollyanna with high discipline, expecting Pollyanna to be a capable person who has many skills, such as swimming, cooking, and playing music. Besides that, Pollyanna's characterization is also very interesting. The author describes Pollyanna as a lively, friendly child and always takes the positive side of everything, even though at first she doesn't like it. The story when Pollyanna felt sad that she had so many duties such as owning the shoe, cook, and play music because she didn't live as she imagined. But after that, she was happy again when she felt that her work was done. In this novel, I also like the use of the author's unique word to keep the reader interested, but the reader must read it repeatedly to understand it. I think that's all for today. If you have some thoughts, please let me know on the comment section. Thank you for listening. Have